Roy is the returning young lion from Melee that's ready to put all clone haters in their place. Upon his return, he's received quite the treatment, now third fastest in aerial speed next to Yoshi and Wario, and significantly more powerful thanks to the hilt mechanic, where he deals more damage and knockback towards the hilt of his sword, and grants Roy a kill power that is almost unrivaled. His jab is a backhanded upward sword slash. Looks pretty shit, right? Wrong. This is his best combo starter because it comes out fast with minimal cooldown and sends your opponent at an angle that allows for easy follow-ups. His side tilt is a downward step swing that rivals his jab in terms of speed and doubles as a KO move thanks to the hilt mechanic. Up tilt is slower but just as powerful, best used for combo finishes and KO mix-ups. Down tilt is a crouching sword poke that has increased in speed from melee but with more horizontal knockback, making it difficult to combo into, good for mix-ups and edge guarding. His dash attack also received a speed boost but with less range to it, however, like a lot of his moves, has good KO potential. His side smash is the most powerful smash in the game, period. I'm pretty sure Roy can win with this move alone. It also comes out scarily fast and doesn't even have bad range to it either. Though it is a little laggy towards the end, it doesn't even have enough to be that easily punishable. As a result, this will be your primary kill move that can seriously mess with your opponent's heads. I don't know what the fuck Sakurai was smoking when he came up with this one, but whatever it was, I want in. Roy's up smash has him thrust his sword upwards as it is drenched in flames, pushing your opponent all the way up for the final explosion. Not quite in the same league as his side smash, but still has good kill power and is multi-hitting, so it can catch your opponents out of the air and take them right off the ground. Down smash is more useful than it looks. While it may be his weakest smash attack, it's also his fastest, so it's great at punishing rolls. Roy's aerials complement his aerial mobility perfectly, all sporting good speed, range, combo potential and kill power. These will be your primary tools for racking up damage, the exception being down air. While it is a much more reliable spike compared to melee, it's still very slow and should only be used when you see an opening. His grab range is pretty damn good, and his pummel is somewhat fast and should not be forgotten. As for his throws, forward throw can lead into dash attack at low percentages, Back throw is mostly used to set up edge guards, up throw is his kill, and down throw is his main combo throw. His neutral special Flare Blade has him charge up before slamming his sword down in a fiery explosion. As you charge, it grows in power and insta kills at full charge, regardless of the percentage they're at, but causes recoil damage. While it does have some startup to it, it has next to no ending lag. In fact, I'm pretty sure there is none, so you can attack almost immediately afterwards, making it a ridiculously good edge guarding and bait tool since your opponent will have a hard time punishing you. It also benefits greatly from B-reversing since you can utilize Roy's already great momentum in the air for mind games. And this is the only move you pull out if you manage to break their shield. Double Edge Dance is basically a ripoff of Marth's Dancing Blade, but with a fire component to it. This adds slightly more knockback, but overall works pretty much the same as Marth's Dancing Blade, a versatile combo tool that can be used to set up combos, rack up damage, or kill depending on the color you choose. Blazer causes him to rise upwards as his sword ignites in flames. As a recovery, it can be angled for some decent horizontal distance, but vertically, it sucks. Offensively though, this is a terrifying out of shield and punish option, as it grants him super armor at the beginning of the move and can kill fairly early. Roy's counter is stronger than the likes of Marth's, but slower and lasts less longer, so it can't be used as often as Marth can, but it's still a useful move to pull out when you know they're going for an attack. And for his final smash, he fires up to perform his own critical hit. Roy has plenty of combos, most starting off with either a jab or down throw, with the damage increasing the closer you hit them with the hilt of your sword. Roy's playstyle focuses on aerial rushdown, racking up most of his damage using his excellent air game and getting the final kill with the devastating tools he has on the ground. While the hilt mechanic gives him tremendous power, it also forces him to constantly be in his opponent's faces, making him risky to use, especially with his poor vertical recovery. But if you just want a lean, mean killing machine, you found it. So what are you waiting for? Go on and seal the deal with our boy, Roy.
Naturally, if you felt I've missed anything or have any tips of your own, please leave them down below in the comments. But until then, good luck, and I'll see you on the battlefield.